Hey everyone, Raiko here once again coming at you with some more Fantasy Star Online Episode 3. Today we're going to start uh, Arc Story and we're going to go for Lura's ending, the last ending we're missing on our uh, streams and playthroughs. So let's go right into that. Um, I will probably be playing uh, some online games against some people on the weekend. Uh, might stream that. Uh, at this point, I don't feel the need to necessarily stream everything I do in this game. I've streamed every progress so far, but uh, the last few cards might take a while to get, and I don't really want to feel committed to necessarily streaming all of that. I don't think anyone cares all that much, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, I might be playing a bit off screen starting uh, from this weekend onwards. Uh, off stream I should say so yeah hopefully that's fine for all you guys and girls since until now I have always been keeping all progress in streams but uh, with the playthroughs coming to an end I would kind of, would kind of like just play with friends and whatnot without needing to necessarily show this saves progress on stream so hopefully you'll understand okay so we start here with the uh, I guess I need to talk with NPCs before I get the first quests. Our base, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of miss Karen though. I don't dislike you, Mr. Dude, but I had a soft spot for Karen over on the other base. So we gotta talk with the main characters here. Starting with our lovely Lura, the one for which we're gonna get the ending, hopefully. Then we have Endu, the weirdo guy that has the craziest standing in his game. If you want to look at that, you can check my YouTube uh, playlist on PSO Episode 3 and you'll have the ending right there. As well as the entire playthrough. We have 89% cards, uh, this is after the final boss with Kranz's ending, as well as the, the online match I had on that same stream with the viewer. So we're getting near the 100%, but again, the last cards might take a while. The more I have, the longer it will take to get the remaining ones. Because again, every drop chance is the same for every card, so there's so many cards in the game I really gotta get those specific new ones I need to drop. Okay, the first quest, as per usual, is gonna be super easy. Oh, we even have the tutorial thingy. I don't think I can skip this except just going through the text very quickly. All right. We're not gonna edit Lure's deck just yet. We're gonna play as is, and then we'll look into it after this battle. Oh, want, want to buy a heart, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause that's kind of her story. She wants to, to acquire a heart unit. And then we found also in the story, um, in the general story, that she holds like some unit or like part of the soul of Sophia, Silver's uh, sister and uh, Break's lover inside of her. <laughs> Who are you? Like this map, you can already see that the arcs are supposed to be sort of the the less beginner friendly compared to the Hunters, because if you remember the, the first quest on Hunters, the map was just a 3x3. Three three. This is actually a 5x3 map. Can keep that, I guess. I, I can already see that we have a dark deck. Since uh, Lura has fixed range, I also will have a lot of action cards <clears throat> that focus on damage numbers, not on range modifications. Change. Nice. 
Wait, I was also... I'm also a werewolf assassin, right? Yes. What did you... Uh, shield, you equip the shield. Okay, well. I guess I'll just move forward myself since I won't be able to attack even if I move to the, the minions. If I could get a third minion, that would actually be ideal. Let's try to look for those. <clears throat> and yeah, we can keep that. Change. We got a different type of minion. <clears throat> I th well, I don't actually know if I have three minions here. I might not have three. Because I remember at some point I didn't really have all three to put in attack, so it might be that I don't have the three. Do I have? Defense. I have a defense card. That's fine. Yeah, so let's just summon the Sodi minion. I probably have a claw as well, at least at least one. What does it do again? Gun demolisher, enemy bonus. Half the number of the enemy field characters. So I would get plus one. So it would be four AP, which is not bad. It's actually pretty decent. A base AP of three is not great, but then it just gets better and better from there. And your opponents are, are supposed to have stuff equipped or summoned anyway, so it will always have more than three. Well, almost always. I don't think she's gonna use any defense cards on the first uh, on the first quest, so we're just gonna do that. Defense. To guarantee we at least kill the barrier. <coughs> oh yeah, I also expect uh, <laughs> the games on the arc side to take longer because the hunters by nature they're a bit more tanky. Because they will not take uh, damage uh, while they have items equipped. With a few exceptions of course, with the pierce uh, stuff and whatnot. I do have a slash though. I said no range modifications, but I guess I do have a slash. Oh, we do have the third dominion here. Hmm, I did not get anything to actually block, so... Yeah, I might actually lose both of those dominions. <laughs> I should probably not have put the other one forth. Yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake. It's okay. <clears throat> Change dice. Set. Okay, good roll. I'd rather put the other the Dominion so that it protects my story character because again the arcs are always exposed. They cannot put items on themselves, so if the hunter gets to me and starts attacking me directly, I can only block. I will otherwise take full damage onto myself. I do, I'm equipping a weapon, but that doesn't really count as a protection weapon, let's say. As that's not like a card weapon. Alright, so... Okay, I guess we can just move forward with the other one. And again, I don't expect this person to block. Let's see. Defense. So we should destroy all the items she has. Yep. <laughs> she might be dead next turn. Nah, that's probably too optimistic. <laughs> that's probably too optimistic. I'll keep the Sodi minion actually. <clears throat> okay, we got a dodge at least. 
can block uh, damage from the dagger. Saber, okay. Defense. That's fine. Could I kill her if I don't summon anything? So I have five points. I can use. <clears throat> I gotta destroy the saber first. I guess this is only has three P right now. <laughs> huh. So if I attack with both the Dominion and myself, I'll destroy the saber, and then this will have three P. It will be eight damage. No, that's not enough. So let's just take it uh, slower. Action. Kinda wish the normal Dominions would also benefit from the, the bigger Dominions. It would still be a nice combo to have like just Dominions on the field. Dominion type enemies, I mean. But I need specifically the base vanilla Dominions for them to buff themselves up. Six, seven, eight. Okay, I have a full house of creatures. It's probably too stacked. I'll keep all of it though. Jeez. Patience. She's not going to use a technique in the first quest, I don't think. Defense. Oof. Okay, well. <laughs> That's fine. Change. Nice. <laughs> March of the Mig. Hmm, I guess they do count as three cost, huh? Let's see, if I use this. Ah, let's just go for it. That's nothing too hard, it's the first quest. <laughs> I'm probably gonna just attack, anyways. Okay, I'll attack with everything, obviously. Should I? Let's just do that. On average, you should deal more damage. I just need to roll at least a two, and it'll, or at least a three, and it'll deal more damage Defense. than attacking with Lura instead of uh, using the action card. If I roll a 5 at least, I will win, so th there's that. We win. Exactly lethal damage. Okay, that was innocent enough of, the, of a first quest. But harder than the one in the Hunter's side of things. Threat plus, that's a new card. I'll check in a bit. Anything else? Come on. Oh, we're still missing Giparta, by the way. Wait, do, did we get Rasta? We might also be missing Rasta still. Oh, Flatland, nice. Flatland is that assist card that the final boss uses. So that you can summon anywhere you want. Should I... I don't think it's worth it. I think Crano has big creatures, but I don't think it's worth it. It lasts forever too. And it's just for me. Actually, it might be worth it to put it on Crano. It really might be. 
it only affects me and it's infinite. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be worth it to be honest. Threat plus Earthbind. So two points all around me, zero damage. MV of all characters will be set to one. Mm. I mean, situationally good, as many cards here are. But yeah, Flatland might be worth putting on Crane's deck. Although, if you think about it, he only has like one big creature, so I, I don't know. Like, but even the Del Saber and other like smaller creatures like the Merlin and whatnot, they could still be summoned like right on top of uh, the enemies, which would still be good. I think it's worth it to consider for sure. But since I already have an assist card, like legacy for her, I don't know. I don't know. I I'll think about it. We're definitely gonna touch some of the Arcs decks on this uh, playthrough. I remember that we even got like some super duper guard creature that I could use on Rise, so yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely edit some decks here. <clears throat> Alright, we get to 90%? Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna look at Lure's deck. <clears throat> and see if I should or can change something really quickly. I might keep the dark theme for now. I'm guessing maybe I picked dark theme because of the... some creatures that fixed... what the hell? Gobuma? Huh? <laughs> that seems kind of random. Nine dark creatures and Gobuma. Maybe I was like, I didn't have enough dark creatures to justify it. That's my guess. I don't know any other reason. I mean, Rampage is a cool thing to have, admittedly. But still, let's commit to the dark deck. Actually, let me just start by looking if we have. Oh no, we have March of the Meek, right, right. It's not even a dark. So we have March of the Meek, we don't actually necessarily have a dark deck. Okay. Then the Kobuma makes a bit more sense, especially because March of the Meek would make him have 4 AP. But still. I don't know about that one. It makes kind of sense, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Let's start by looking at uh, the dark stuff. Yeah, through the minions. Uh... <clears throat> no TP stuff, please. Yeah, let's try to keep the match in the mix so it's it's not another dark deck. But let's also try to make it. Interesting. Oof, steady damage. I don't like steady damage stuff. So this actually buffs the other one. Mm. <coughs> I guess we don't really have anything else that costs 3 or less for Dark... I guess that's, that was my reasoning. <clears throat> yeah, it makes sense now. I mean, I do have 3 so the minions now, but since I can't really equip 3 at the same time, or summon 3 at the same time, I guess... I'm not gonna put 3 there either. <clears throat> I could put 2 in the Belarus, they can cover a lot of ground. But they depend on the, the action cards to actually deal any damage. I'm actually... I've grown to not like this creature as much, to be honest. Especially against Hunters, now that you think about it. Against Arcs that have multiple crap on the field, you can hit all of them. 
against Hunters, which is what, what we're gonna be doing now. In this story, this is kinda useless, let's be honest. I mean, you can use it to pay uh, defense cards, I guess. Uh, but otherwise, pretty useless. L let's just put something else. Yeah, let's look for stuff for March of the Meek. I guess I can put Gobuma back for the time being. Although March of the Meek would benefit mostly the the Mothmans and whatnot, like smaller stuff, right? Well, not necessarily. I'm just considering if I should just do a dark deck instead of going March of the Meek. But I already have Crano with that thing. Although Crano is doing the legacy stuff. I feel like I'm already gonna spend a lot of time here, but uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you know my streams uh, just a little bit, you'll know I spend a lot of time crafting decks because I love this this stuff. Okay, so why did I even pick dark decks to begin with? Begin with, I feel like it was because of the the Indio Belra. But the Indio Belra, I just removed it from the deck because it has zero EP. The multi-target throughout the whole field is cool, but not gonna useful in this story because we only far fight hunters and most of the time we're only going to be fighting a single hunter so hitting all those white squares on the field it doesn't really matter because only one of those squares will matter so if I made it a dark deck what would I put in the Merlin for sure that's definitely a contender <coughs> maybe mm, I don't think I would put Del D necessarily. I can't use its TP, so maybe not. Dark Belra. Does that make sense? <clears throat> I think it's too costly. It does have a lot of AP though. Five. Do we have anything with Rampage or any? anything related like similar to that actually let's go through all creatures real quickly to see if any of them has rampage so this one has ramp major rampage which is why I guess it was in the deck to begin with because rampage makes it hit all the items on uh, a hunter equipped by a hunter so it's super useful to have there's probably not many that have a rampage and those that do should have the conditional rampage stuff heavy rampage but this is a this is a big one also has a couple downsides well one downside the exhaust one anything else Try to do those paralyzed death sort of combos, but not right now. That that would need like very a very different deck. That would require basically scrapping this deck and doing something else entirely. Yeah, this is the dead card creature I said I'll put on rise, but we'll get there when we get there.
I feel like there's really isn't many, not that many creatures with Rampage. Heavy Rampage. Okay. <clears throat> Five points, five AP. Haste. Haste is actually pretty good. Wait, zero MV. What? Oh, you got action. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> so basically, this cannot move, but as you kill stuff, it will get movement. But it's super weird. Like as you summon it in some point, it cannot move until it kills something, and it can move one spot at a time. You kill something, it can move two spots and so on and so forth, but if you summon this at a spot where it kill, can kill nothing, then it's gonna be useless. This is kinda too much work right now. Darkbringer looks cool, but no Rampage either. Well, Major Rampage I understand, but uh, we're not gonna do the same deck as Crane with this, like, with this centered around it. Or with the deck centered around that card, I mean. Okay, I guess... no, we do not have... Well, whatever the thing is, it has a heavy rampage. <laughs> it's a native. Uh... Huh. No. Yeah, there, like, there were like, what, four creatures total or something? So let me let me think for a bit. Uh, so do we go for dark deck or do we go for a march of the meek deck? <coughs> Let's go for a full dark deck. I already have March of the Meek in some other characters, I think. So let's go for a full dark deck, but that doesn't center around Delbiter. Like uh, Crane's deck does. <laughs> can still have like uh, strong stuff regardless. Revenge 2. Okay, so if you have one, char one, one, one character die, one creature die after some of these, they already have AP4, which is decent. Definitely AP2 is not very good. It gets better and better. Stall. Impact half guards. You can try that. Dark AP count. So it changes to 1 plus the number of all dark creatures in the field, including itself. So if I summon this and like a Soul Dominion and then a Claw, you'll have 3 AP. It's not great. We're skipping that. This relies on techniques as well, I guess. This is mostly good with techniques. Freeze 3 exact. Wow. That's strange. Uh. Hmm. This would be pretty good, but I don't want to go to Legacy Shenanigans. What about this one? Oh boy. <clears throat> Where put at least three more creatures? Okay, you know what? Let's keep March of the Meek. Let's keep the, the initial initial deck. I'm even gonna put Gobuma back. As it has Major Rampage, it can come in handy. Maybe I'll put two Gobumas. No, it can be a bit situational. So what else should I put? I should put something that also costs two or three.
Cars Demolisher. No lilies, please. What if I went full machine? I feel like the machines, some of them rely on tags to actually work. Well, not not many of them actually. Well, not a few of them do. Kinda, yeah. Hmm. Is there any creatures with fixed range except for the the one? I wish I really could just search for specific abilities like in regular card games nowadays. I think there's only the Indian Belra with fixed range. I don't want to go through the whole thing again. I guess you can go very fast. Looking for fixed range here. I don't think there is. I might going this fast. I might actually miss miss it. So let me know if you actually see a fixed range in here, or if you know of any creature that has fixed range. If I have it already, I can just go directly and check that one. I think there's an action card that gives you fixed range, but that's that's something else entirely. And I also could be wrong. Well, there's that one, yeah, we know about that one. That doesn't seem like there is one. Okay, um... We are just spending too much time here. Let's put the Vomer for now, and we'll see about that later. <clears throat> so we'll keep March of the Meek. Uh... Let's try to focus on these ones, for Lura specifically. I guess stab is well not needed. SH attack is a good one. It's also not a finisher, so it can actually come with other stuff. I can just put Rampage, or this is Major Rampage. I thought this was Rampage. Was this nerfed? I thought this was... Uh... Unconditional rampage. Okay, never mind. Then never mind. Oh, this is unconditional rampage. Wait, for the one more, you get plus two and, and unconditional. Oh, rigid. Oops. Okay, I mean, let's keep that one. Hold. Oh my god, that's. that's... Mm. Well, we'll keep it anyway. Whatever. I thought this was unconditional, but never mind then. Heavy Rampage. Hmm. I guess you could use this on the Dark Bringer Plus to actually give it movement one. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Hmm.
Mutual death. I feel like it costs too much, to be honest. The the charge, I mean. What's this Guam? Guam. <laughs> this I only discard as Guam, I think. The performer can move or perform actions while in the Guam condition. Being attacked while in the Guam condition cures the effect early. Okay. But if you attack a, an item, will the character still have Guam on it? I don't know. I don't feel like trying right now. Oh, this is also unconditional rampage, but this costs 5 and has a weird range. Cool art though. <laughs> uh, sure. Let's keep the overswing. And we should put one more. Which would be... Uh, maybe heavy blow. Sure. Or actually, let's put another spirit boost. I don't think we want to like connect a lot of cards here. We mostly want to attack with different things because we put several uh, creatures creatures on the field. Yeah, let's go with that. I realize we spent already more than in the in the in the uh, editing the deck than I actually expected, but that's fine. It's all part of the fun. I feel like viewers came and and went, like. Uh, new viewers came and went while I was there. <laughs> well, sorry if I bored anyone. It is where it is. Let's go right into it. I mean, I would do it again because I really love editing decks. Although, I was thinking if I should do some like major edit. Like a bigger, bigger edit than that. Like, I don't know, maybe committing to a full native deck and whatnot, since the Gubumba does have the major and page. Maybe, like, maybe a full native deck with a legacy, so I can summon the Gibbles, for example. Actually, as I say that out loud, I might just do that, to be honest. I can even put legacy to try to summon the Gibbles. I actually like the idea. I would have the native, uh, the, the forest rain to buff natives. Hmm. Might do that. He didn't take his turn yet. Okay. I should search for creatures here. Change. <coughs> okay, it's actually not moving forward, that's fine. I'll do that. Even though that's called Companion, it's actually cool damage because there's also a, an, an ability called Death Companion. <laughs> he might actually already use the uh, action cards. Let's bet on him not using it though. Action. Defense. <coughs> yep. 
might not use them yet. This is just the second quest, so yeah, I don't think they use defense cards just yet. So he has one TP. Let's take that away <clears throat> and see what else we can find. Because March of the Meek would also benefit the opponent's items, now, now that I think about it. So I'll also be kind of helping the opponents with the March of the Meek. So the Dark... Well, Dark stuff or... I actually don't have uh, the Dark... Uh, Rinse Dark or whatever. The Siskar that buffs Dark creatures. What is it called? It's not Rinse Dark, it's something else, but anyway. I do have Forest Rain though, so maybe I'll really do that. Well, any excuse to spend more time in the deck manager, <laughs> for sure. Okay, let's uh, stick with that. Can use... This is to make sure it kills and then I'll attack with the Dominion, which is now buffed because there's another Dominion on the field. This don't roll a 1, and we're good. Would it have been better if I just attacked with all three? I could not attack with all three. If I moved with Lura, I wouldn't be able... No, actually I could. Would be better then. It would be the same, <laughs> basically. Then, compared to using the, the action card. That's fine. Four, five... Technically, summon that, but I really want to get something else. Other stuff to to summon. Okay, that's that's a decent one. No defense cards, however, so we might lose a dominion in front of us. Overswing. Defense. Oh, we lost the clients there. That's fine. I don't know why it, why it showed my... Oh, it showed his character because he has the, the ability that makes him gain more XP. Yeah, with, with the flat land I could summon this right next to him, but right now I, it needs to be summoned back there. Can I just... Let me think. So with an action card, let's just actually not summon and not even move anything. Action. Let's just do it like this. No, with even my own character. And then this. If I roll a si 5, at least I will have little. Now, did, do I get to roll a 5 here? Oof, okay, <laughs> never mind. That is fine. I'll still keep over swing. I guess we'll just try to get another claw or something. Volmer. Handgun, okay. <clears throat> we can defend, that's fine. We dodge those. Okay, let's try again without summoning anything, and th this time I think I can do it, because... Four... Uh... Five, six... Action. Hmm. Same thing as last time. How much do we need to roll to kill this time? 
I think it's guaranteed kill. Yeah, it's guaranteed kill. I didn't even need to use an action card here. Okay, cool. GG. But yeah, I'm kind of excited for the to, to look at the, a potential native deck right uh, after this screen. Another Soul Dominion, <laughs> makes sense after all this. Any new cards? Come on. Soul Banish? Never seen that card in this game. It looks sweet though. Double S rank. So 6 points, plus 7 AP, plus 60 AP. 18 HP, it looks amazing. Just based on the stats alone. I'm sure it's gonna have some downside though. Steady damage and exhaust, those are the downsides. It's not that bad. With 18 HP, losing 1 HP every time it attacks, it's not that bad. Instant death 5, roll 5 or higher after success of physical attack. It seems really good to me. It seems really, really good. It's tech okay as well, so the plus 60p can actually be used. It can even be used by forces. This looks very good. Wow. Who could use this though? Silver could use this, I would say. Even the Nollis could use this, to be honest. Blue Star could also use this, for sure. Yeah, looks great. I like it, I like it. Oof, this is quite the... <laughs> that, that card, the, that body change is quite a disruptor. Okay, let's spend another half an hour on the deck manager. <laughs> it's just... Trying to see if it makes sense to have a, a native deck. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do a last quest and then uh, I'm gonna stop. forward to having all of the items or all of the creatures or all of one specific category all unlocked so I get that screen with the congratulations. Hopefully that's still gonna happen even uh, even in the plus version. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, let, let's first start looking at the assist cards just to see if I have the, the native. Forest rain, yes we do. We have caves, we have mines, we just don't have the ruins. Ruins darkness, that, that's the name. We also already have all the weapon stuff. Marshes Meek and Giant Garden. Only one though, but it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna already go ahead and remove that. We're committed to the forest rain. <laughs> Nothing stopping us here. Okay, so let's basically remove all the dark stuff. <coughs> okay, I still have one... The Vormer, yeah, okay. Alright, so this thing has major rampage, that's cool. To 
do not say it's group, give up on me. Excluding itself. Okay, so if I summon another one, they will both have four. Let's put that for now. I don't like to depend on coping and stuff. When you're attacking barriers and some other things, it just doesn't do anything. And cost three, so it's it's situationally, situationally very good, but situationally still. Random AP minus one. <clears throat> <clears throat> so in worst case it deals two damage. In best case it deals seven damage, which is actually really good. But I don't want to depend on RNG. Uh, rep is... I might need... I might add a couple of them just to fill out any remaining action points. I don't like XP uh, decoy stuff, so I'm gonna keep, the, keep it out. Mm. Nope, we're missing the normal Halo Rappy, right? There's, there should be one, I'm guessing. I don't want to go with like little creatures and these things because that's kind of reserved for the what are the characters called? <clears throat> Ryu and uh, the guy that buffs stuff around him. I forget his name. The singer guy. <clears throat> this one actually has zero EP. That's insane. <laughs> Why? It's just worse than the other one. I guess it, these ones don't, don't have group. Okay. <clears throat> Still, if you just put one, it's kind of pointless. If you put three, they all have three, that's fine. Oh. Wait, what? I guess if they're near this thing, it also has haste, but you need to <laughs> have something that that actually gives movement to this card. So never mind. G uh, XP sacrifice. XP sacrifice. No. Mm. Zero AP. This should have more than zero AP. I feel. Actually, give me a moment. Uh, my phone is actually running out of battery. I'll be right back. I'm back, I'm charging the phone with the portable charger, all is good with the world, let's go. Companion. Hey, grab! This is a big one. Oh, death attack dice boost. It's actually pretty decent. It feels. It's quite costly, however. <clears throat> Native AP count, including itself, hopefully. Yeah. 1 plus the number, so it always has 2 AP and then it can change to a bit more than that. 
Uh, it seems to rely a lot on using the DP as well to make sense. <coughs> uh, Carnage inclined. Yeah, let's just maybe put this thing and I oh we should also put a legacy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a major rampage and we also have the heavy rampage. Okay. What else? Well, how the barrier is just uh, a given. What is this? Ally bonus? Mm, no. Minor death is. It's cool, but no. Heavy pierce, we don't really want to pierce. We're committing to rampage here. Major slay, yeah, sure. I guess let's put those uh, couple rapids I mentioned earlier. We need to put two more things. W what should we put? I mean, if, if we have two Hild Bears, that would be fine, right? Gigue. <laughs> I kind of like this one, but it's a guard creature, it's kind of weird. It also has very lo low stats, like very low offensive stats. This thing's not bad. Oh, weak spot. Hmm. <clears throat> Even without the Golgus, this might not be bad at all. I think I'd rather put the Hild Bear to be honest. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Although the haste is actually pretty good. You don't use attack points to actually move that thing. I never liked this combo with the... They seem too weak for what they are. This only has one EP. This should have like, like two or three maybe even. It, this is too weak for what it costs. Doesn't seem worth it to be honest. Unfortunately, it does have high HP, so that's that's something. Should I put? Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe just a general go boomer, uh, general boomer. It does have movement three. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe weird thing like a, a weird rappy. Cool one, actually. Let's put one of those. And no, uh, we're gonna put uh, forest train. So we kind of wanna like smaller stuff, I guess. Okay, maybe another Gobuma. That's fine. Hopefully, we'll be able to steal some rampage uh, trades here and there. And I guess another Hild Bear, or again, smaller stuff maybe is better. <clears throat> Not questioning Gigobuma being in the deck. Um, hmm. Since we already have Gobuma with like the three cost thing. And this kind of also relies on techniques. Not really, but. Should I put two Boomas instead? Sure, and one barbell. 
Is that fine? Let's put two Hyla pairs actually. So who do I take out? I guess if the Goboom, the Major on page doesn't take doesn't make sense anymore. Yeah, let's just put the Gobooms again. Sorry, I'm just uh, wondering about things. But then again, <laughs> no, that's fine. It's fine as is. Okay, let's put Legacy now. We'll keep Forest Rain. We'll just add Legacy in here. What's the old type? Some people on the Discord were talking about this. Oh. Oh no. They, they mentioned that they were like they would combo this with something else. Let me just look at the, that conversation. Old type and assist ban. I don't know if do I have assist ban. I guess you cannot remove, like you put that and you cannot remove that anymore. But does this last forever? The old type? No, it's just six turns. I guess you can you put that and then you you don't allow people to remove it until it runs out. But I mean six turns, which is basically just three of your turns. Assistless, is that it? Yeah. All players of both parties may not use any new assist cards while these cards on the field. Yeah, it's basically that. <laughs> so you, you force the old type for the full duration of the six turns. Or five turns. I, it's just five turns for some reason. Okay, where is the legacy? Okay, now we need to remove something else. I guess we gotta remove an action card. That was easy. I guess this is really good if I get to attack with that big thing. <laughs> and just destroy everything the opponent has. Okay, let's just try this deck out. I'm kinda weary about going in with just two def just nine defense cards, but that's fine. I'm supposed to attack at the range anyways. Can we get 90% cards before the stream ends? We'll see. I think this is that one where we actually pick a side. If we just talk to the girl uh, over here. Let's see which one looks uh, cooler, let's say. This is the original one, it's against Silver. This is the other one on the the, the beach map. It's against Inalis. Love Revo. Oops. I don't know, I, like when you cancel out then you gotta leave the teleport and go in again to be able to interact with it again. It's kinda weird. Uh, I don't know, man. We already fought uh, Silver. Let's fight in all this. Okay, let's see.
this quest is about a person trying to search for the her lover, but then she says, oh, it's not a woman, it's actually a man. <laughs> uh, well, after this quest is done, I believe. Apologies for that if you heard any noise. I should really start using my uh, more professional microphone. I have one mostly for um, recording my piano songs, but I still haven't set up that one for my stream. I also don't really have much space on my desk for it, as that one is a bit bigger compared to the current headset I'm using. But yeah, I should do it at some point. Let's make her come to us. Being patient is uh, part of the arcs, I guess. Got legacy. I guess if I equip these two creatures, I'm, I'll just need to get the, the gibbles in my hand. Well, but they need to survive. I think she attacked with two things though. What is the other thing? Okay, that's fine. Wait, the other one was dealing three damage? Oh, because it's a native slayer, I think. <laughs> the one is a native slayer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. It's kind of funny. Okay, what do I do here ex exactly? Oh, I actually have gibbles, so let's try to make everything survive. I don't think I looked at my... Did I look at my defense cards? I don't remember. Anyway. I mean, technically I should summon everything, but I, I need to put some pressure on her. Okay, so I'm gonna do spirit boost on the Kobuma for sure. What else do I do? Well, we'll start with that. If all goes well, the Kobuma will just kill everything that uh, Inolis has, and then we'll attack her directly. Just need to, to roll a 2 and we roll the 4, so cool. Nice. Cool, very cool. Next turn we equip the, the Gobuma and then hopefully we can do all this we can do this combo. All this kinda let's actually throw that away because we need defense cards. Change. Throwing it away actually allowed us to gather patience, but then we should really remove companion. If we're going for legacy stuff we need to protect uh, what we're putting on the field. Yeah, I'll remove the, the death companion later. Don't know yet what I'll put, but we'll see later. Okay, so if three, four, five. No, it's not enough. <laughs> if I had six points, that would have been enough to legacy into the guild. But five, alas, is not. That's alright. Hmm. thinking how best I should do this. I don't know if she already uses defense cards. Let's assume she doesn't. Defense. 
So two direct damage coming in, that's good. Die until we summon Gables, come on. Draw. I'll keep patience because it might really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she didn't summon anything. Okay, we're gonna win then. Well, it is where it is. Another six. Okay. Bait. Damage, damage, kill. Defense. It seems like she might not be using any defense cards at this point yet. I didn't even need the Kobumu's attack. That's fine. I'm also wondering if the Gopuma is actually that good here. I don't know. I think I even put two of them. Maybe I just uh, reduce it to just one. Well, let's keep playing and we'll see. I think I'll do one more, one more quest actually. That This one didn't taste like much. <laughs> It was so short of uh, summoning the Gibbles that I'm kind of... Let's say I'm kind of feeling like Blue Vault here. New, new cards? Maybe even a new... Whatchamacallit... Native? No, we actually got a very good one. A very good machine one. I've been waiting to get Epson actually. Tempest? I don't know what that is. So, the final boss sometimes also summons this. Seven points. Uh, this was actually summoned in one of the fights I had in the in the Raggle.org server against the guys there. I know this stalls like... <laughs> it puts MV to zero. I kind of wanted this to say stall zero, because there's some stalls that are zero and those that are one. I feel like maybe they forgot. Anyways. You basically cannot move if this thing is near you, which is it's kind of insane. Ex you also get bonus, like, passively. Yeah, it's the interest, never mind. It's the, but like, 9 experience passively every turn is kind of insane. Uh, each turn? is it, I'm assuming it's each one of your turns, but I'm actually not sure. And you also get extra experience. It's probably not the strongest some of the seven point uh, cost cards, but it's still really really strong. The SCP, but it doesn't really use techniques unless you use some BS action card that allows it to use it. It's cool for sure. Um, I don't know if I would legacy into this specifically right now into any of my decks, but definitely on the lookout for for that in the future. What about Tempest? What the hell is this? 4 points attacks everything on the field, damage is always 8. Does not hit story characters, major damager. Inflicts 8 damage to all characters of both parties who have 8 or more HP. Oh! No effect against characters with 7 or less HP. That's really interesting actually. I mean you can still block it normally but... It's really cool. Nice. 
I didn't mean the woman. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I think I'll just do one last quest before I wrap it up. Characters, do we get to a 90? We got to 90%. Nice. Guess Mor was one of them. I guess she she will have that quest uh, to help her fight Viviana. But yeah, if you want to see all that que those quests and the story behind it, uh, my first playthroughs are on my YouTube channel. I go through all of those very carefully and very slowly. Right now we're just rushing quote-unquote to Lurus ending. <laughs> Clearly not rushing in a speedrun sort of thing because I'm spending like hours on the deck manager but you know that's another story entirely. Okay so we remove equal ma equal damager companion. What should we what should I put? Invalid. I only have native, I can just put native guard, but I should definitely put native guards, maybe even more than one. Let's remove a guard, maybe? Or even a patience. Actually, let's remove a wall. Cool. I put the wall, like, as a one-off just to for the situations where I fight uh, with other like in 2v2s so that I have at least one card that helps them out but I end up it does it ends up not matching most of the time so yeah so give me a moment there's some noise outside be right back Oh, it's some fireworks uh, celebrating the, the holiday here in Portugal. Give me a moment, let me just check it out, I'll be right back. back I can't really see the fireworks but they're definitely happening uh, I can hear them quite well even through my uh, noise blocking headsets Twenty fifth of April was a really important uh, date here in Portugal because that's where uh, oh crap I'm just noticed that we can't legacy here L let's just play anyways or I could just play another deck I guess we can test that one tomorrow. <clears throat> Piercer. Oh my god, the 2 4 is. Okay, let's just go with that one, anyways, whatever. Yeah, so there was like a revolution some, uh, some years ago, and. Uh, that re re revolution here in Portugal happened on the 25th of April where the state was kind of overturned because there was sort of a tyranny going on so the the, the people actually took took the power to themselves and uh, we we got rid of that uh, less desirable state of affairs let's say 
I was not around around that time, so I, you know, I can only speak of what I see in the books and whatnot. But yeah, it's definitely a very important day here in Portugal, as a lot of ch things change, hopefully for the better. Yeah, this dice is no fun. Let's <laughs> keep those. <clears throat> oh, if I can put Kigo, uh, sorry, Go Boom uh, and Forest Train, that'd be nice. Well, never on the same turn because I can only roll a max of four. Oof, I'm already gonna be. At, no, not yet. No attack yet. But I'm definitely fearing uh, that I might be in trouble soon. Oof, I need to defend this thing. Okay, we can keep forest train, but let's just. Okay, we got a guard. Nice. This thing has six HP though, so it's actually pretty, the pretty tanky. But yeah, it feels like if I don't use techniques, this thing is kind of missing out. But, you know, what can you do? Still situationally really good. Specifically in a situation where I have forest train on the, on the board, the opponent has more than half of their HP, and cherry on top, I use an action card on him. Okay. Yeah, I do have two Gigaboom. Uh, sorry, two Gobumas. Maybe I, I, I should not. I don't know. Anyway, let's do that. Let's attack. Sorry, this is not attack phase. <laughs> let's attack. Not for real. <clears throat> She's still not defending. I don't know if it's because the quest. In this quest, she still does not defend her because she didn't have a defense card. That was a very good attack, though. For sure. She's still above HP, uh, above half HP, so. It will still take effect, uh, the measurement page. I won't need a second Gobuma, though. Maybe I should really not have two in my deck. Um. Let's see. I can keep both of those. No. Since you can only roll a maximum of four. Um, summoning the bear would just take my whole turn. We don't want to have dead turns like that. <coughs> yeah, we can fully block this damage. I wonder if Ability Trap would go through that shield, that, that action card with the native shield. Okay, let's just attack then. Same deal. Still not using um, <laughs> a defense card. I feel like she doesn't use defense cards in this quest just yet. Okay, now she will be less than half HP. What if she was at 5? Would the major and page still work? Oh no, it has to be over. Okay, it will not work. Cannot... This is too high cost. Cannot use that right now. This might be important. Let's keep the rest. Okay. Sure. Defense. Nice. 
no more forest train. This doesn't really do rampage anymore. Maybe I should have let it die. Oh well. I guess he's the biggest damage right now. <laughs> Overswing. That's uh, unconditional. Rampage, but I would need to roll a 4. I would want to roll a 4 right now, to be honest. Okay, uh. We block those. <laughs> okay, we did roll a 4. Should I? That will still not kill everything, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, let's do it anyways. I think it's just better than, than the alternative. Maybe on this one. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she uses defense cards at all in this quest. Oh, she has 1 HP, actually. Oh yeah, it's now hold, held, whatever. No techniques here are gonna happen, I don't think we're gonna do this, this, this game for sure. Yeah, we can keep that. Because if the maximum we can roll is a 4, we, we, it's impossible. Even with legacy stuff. We need to roll a 5 at least. Defense. With the level up it would be possible, but... I wonder if, if she attacked the Gobuma, could I defend the Gobuma? Nice. I'm actually not sure. Set. I mean, I want this. No matter basically what I do. I don't know if defending uh, is like performing actions or not. I don't know. Action. <clears throat> Actually, we're just gonna do that. <laughs> just for fun. Defense. Oh, she actually used the defense car this time, <laughs> but a bit too little too late. That was a lot of damage. Cool. Kinda wanted to play a normal game, quote unquote, before I left leave the stream, but it's already getting late, so I'm gonna stop here. There'll be more tomorrow. And on the next stream I might also uh, edit rises well I need to I want to, to first uh, get her on the party. I know that on plus you can play her anyway from the start, but I want to get her on the party first before I do that, just in case. And because I don't like to break the rules, that's a new card, and I've never seen it, I think. Critical. Wait, what? I was just one. Wait, are S rank cards also one of a kind? Like I got this one, but it says total one. Huh? Are S ranks also one of a kind? I ask again. Um, Mm. 
Let me check something really quickly. Says you should have, you should be able to have three copies, but I just got one, and it doesn't seem like it's counting. I'll just take a screenshot and ask around, see if it is some, this is some sort of bug. I also check my collection to see how many I actually have, because I know I already had this one. I'm pretty sure. Okay, what, what's critical? Let's just look at that one. So, three points. Cool arts, for sure. Is, is that quick ult? Double or nothing. The dice roll before an attack determines the damage amount. Four or higher inflict double damage, three or lower inflict zero damage. Oh, I think I've seen this one somewhere, now that I think about it. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, you can't use Dice Fever to always get uh, 5, I believe. So essentially, it's like flipping a coin. <laughs> cool, I guess. But I guess where it gets more busted is when you, you can actually... when you can actually guarantee the, the 4 or higher. <laughs> so you got the Rappy there, but it's the wrong Rappy, yeah, we, we know that. <laughs> we go out, we do our job, we don't do it very well, but it's still quest complete. That's how we roll. Yeah, I'll just go check how many uh, Heil the Blue Canes we have, because now I'm kind of curious. <clears throat> Still 90%, that's fine. I guess action cards are the closest to completion right now. These cards are the least ones, the least uh, closest to completion. Actually, I'll just go ahead already and also remove Kobuma. Wait, I cannot check how the blue scan here, anyways. Because um, we're on Arc's side of things. But anyways, let me just see what I what I should have put instead of that one. Either another Bartle or a Boomer. Maybe a Boomer for variety. No, actually, this one has Major Slayer. Less HP, less movement, but still. Yeah. Let's keep that one. Okay, so how do I check exactly? Card list. Item. Yeah, it should be able to check it here. Yeah, I only have one. But I got it on, on the card pack. Yeah, I'll just report this. Maybe it's a bag, maybe it's not. Yeah, I'll, I'll just report this. Did I not have the Hal the Blue scan before? 
I'm pretty sure I had it. And even if I didn't, it should say new on the card, and it did not say new. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just report it, um, and we'll see if it's a bug or if it's some intended behavior for whatever reason. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.